Hello Libra, welcome to your reading with me. My name is Melanie and this is going to be your reading for September. I'd like to say a big, big thank you to everybody who's liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. I'm really, really grateful for how my channel is growing. And I'd like to say a big, big thank you for all your comments, likes, shares and subscribes. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So do please check her out as well. And let's see what September has got in store for you, Libra. Oh, you've got some big cards here. You've got the three of wands. You've got justice, high priestess, the world and the tower. So you've got four major arcana cards in this reading, Libra. Four major arcana cards. So this tells me that September is going to be a significant month for you this year because you've got four major arcanas so something quite significant something quite big is going to happen for you in September if you look at your first card you've got the three of wands I'm going to lay another card over that and it's the nine of cups so recently Libra you've been looking at your life and you've been thinking I want to make some changes um I want to improve my life in some way but I don't quite know what it is that I want and with the nine of cups with the genie sat down in the bottom there it's a bit like a wish card so it's like you really thinking you know if a genie was to come and grant you three wishes what would you ask for and this is what you're looking at you're looking at your future and you're thinking I want to improve my life I'm and you know I feel like I'm stuck in a rut I'm just plodding along with life I wanted to do something but what is it I want and you're really now thinking what is going to make your life better what is it that you want what what would your three wishes be and this is how it feels to me, is what's going through your mind at the moment. And you're like really thinking hard of the changes that you want to bring into your life because life just feels like it's mundane, stuck in a rut and you want to improve things. As we get to September, you've got the Justice card here. Now, the Justice card can be about balance, but also what really is like coming into my head is legal. So, Libra, you could have something official, something legal happening in September. This could be an outcome that you're waiting for, a decision that needs to be made. It could be something that needs to be signed. It could be authorization that you're waiting for something. And at the moment, you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know which way it's going to go. But it feels to me, you know, these cards have, I mean, I'm mainly reading upright readings anyway, but they did all fall upright. So it feels to me that, you know, it's not going to be a bad decision. It may not be fully the outcome that you was expecting, but it's not going to be bad. So some kind of outcome, some kind of decision in September that goes your way. And it's about changing your life. It's about improving things. You've also got the High Priestess card here. Now, I, I know Libras can be a bit indecisive. Yeah, that's just one of the traits to your signs to your sign and you could be very very indecisive but this makes me think that this could go be what goes against you in September Libra because with this high priestess card I just get the feeling of you keep asking yourself what do I do what do I do what do I do and these cards are saying you really need to in September make decisions a bit quicker Libra you need to really really decide once and for all what it is that you want in this situation because you've got to make a big decision and with the chariot card here it's a decision that once made you can't go back 
and it feels to me like a crossroads. You've come to a crossroads in your life. You've got to go that way or that way. What way can you go? But once you've made this decision, you can't go back. So it needs to be right. And you can't be indecisive. You can't know what to do. You need to make your mind up, Libra. You really, really need to do this soul searching and decide how you feel about this and what is going to be important to you, what is going to make you happy and what way you need to go. And my advice to you, look, is to trust all your instinct, all your emotions. You've got the world card here. So the world is your oyster. Libra, think big. Don't think small. Think big. You've got the world in your hands. So when it comes to decision making, think big when it comes to improving your life. Think bigger than what you're thinking now. Think outside of the box, as they say. You may have to step back from the situation to see the bigger picture. But this is saying when it comes to making this decision, when it comes to deciding what to do, Think bigger than what you're thinking now because there's so much more to life, so much more, and you need to be looking bigger. You need to be thinking bigger. You need to be looking at different ideas, different ways forward, different avenues. Think outside the box. Get inspiration and you know, and really, really think differently because that is what's going to help you. Because Libra, you could have something happen in September while all this is going on, while you're making your decisions, while you're deciding what to do. If you're taking too long to make your mind up, then somebody else might make the decision for you. And they might say, well, I tell you what, Libra, you can't make your mind up. You don't know what to do. So I'm going to make the changes and I'm going to do. And then it's out of your control. And then when it's out of your control, you haven't got much power over it. And you'll find yourself fumbling in the dark to come up with ideas quickly. So this is why you've got to be one step ahead, Libra. You've got to be one step ahead in September. And like I said, this is particularly when it comes to do with career, money, finances, your material world. So is this something to do with your job? Is, is there changes at work and something's going to happen and it's going to be out of your control? Is this to do with a property? Like I said here, there could be legal to do with it. You could be needing legal advice, official advice. It's something official. So Libra, you really need to do the soul searching in September. You really need to be decisive and take action before things get out of control, and before somebody else makes the decision for you, because you've got the world at your hands and this is going to be big. This is going to change your day to day routine, Libra, because you've got loads of major arcana cards here. So something big, something major, something that changes your day to day routine is going to happen. Oh, we've got some animal oracle cards here. So I'm just going to give those a shuffle, Libra. And let's see what we pull for you for September. What's going to give you this little bit of inspiration here. And you've got the goat and it's the adventurer. Now, the goat as well climbs mountains. Have you seen those videos and pictures on the telly of goats clinging to the side of mountains? They don't give up. They keep going. So this has got to be you, Libra. There's more to life than just getting up and doing your usual things. Remember what we said here? Thinking outside the box. And the goat reminds you to appreciate the people and the things that make your life more interesting and colourful. You will be craving to embark on new adventures. So look up ahead. And the goat will make sure you don't lose your footing. So you could have this big mountain to climb in September, Libra. 
and you don't want to be clinging to the side for dear life. You want to be jumping up the side of this mountain, leaping ahead, secure and knowing your footing. So you need to be decisive. You need to know what's important. You need to know where you're going. You need to know what you want. You need to be making your mind up.